So, going to do some more fascia work with Emma's lower back. And going to move into doing some actual, actual moving. But beforehand, again, I just want to sink in, make a connection. Using my forearms, so I'm nice and low in my body. And I'm just in one of my favourite kind of places, which is lower back kind of QL area and just below the iliac crest as well, just sort of into the top of the glutes. Just hanging out, softening around, can feel a really strong band of the erectors in my forearm. And then softer as I come more laterally off that. And just noticing without any trying or striving, just where the softening and the sinking happens. Just to get a feeling to let Emma get used to me. I think it's possible I'm going to want some wax or glue in a minute, but... Hmm. Okay. Could just hang out and sink, but just want to show other ways of working with the fascia. Having got that connection, and then just sweep. Sinking in. That's sense of being beneath the skin but not really into the belly of the muscle yet and then actively but gently putting a bit of direction a bit of move just seeing sometimes you don't get a flow at all sometimes you need a bit of wax from the get-go sometimes I find if I just slow down even more and just get stop being impatient and wait for the body to move then I can move without needing any wax or glue it's just a case of me being patient and allowing the fascia to move me so there's different ways of doing it but at the moment getting a bit of a glide there quite nice And a bit of a sinking in and then sort of just stretching. It's going to bring both forearms onto the lower back and I'm going to just sweep out. If I can sweep. My intention is to move out laterally. It's a little bit juddery. I might need some glue, you might not. Let's just see. Coming out central so my weight's in my front foot I'm leaning forwards sinking in getting the connection it's almost like feeling a sort of velcro-y feeling you're off the smoothness of the surface of the skin and you're not into the meat of the muscle but you're just into something you're into sort of a velcro-y feeling and then we can take that out how does that feel Emma? Do you know? Uh-huh. Lovely. And I think that's something to watch for is that it can feel that you're not doing anything. It feels very superficial, very surface, very light. But because you're connected, if you are connected, it can have a very powerful um actual connection with your client and they can experience it as a much more definite touch than you perhaps might imagine, a much more effective touch than you might imagine. So let's just, I've put a bit of wax on and then I'm just going to think about staying fascia initially but I've got a feeling we're going to drop into muscle in a minute, but let's just see. 
So I've got my hand on around, kind of iliac crest, kind of underneath my hand there. Fingertips so I can really sense, forearm on top. And I just want to sink in and just again come out. A little bit lower. Top of the sacrum now, I think. Sinking. Yeah? You can really feel it's like, again, sinking down through, kind of like treacle or something like that. There's a fluidity. There's definitely a, it's definitely a fluid, not a solid, which makes sense when we think about how fluid the body is, how much water the body is. But yeah, real sense of fluidity and sinking into something and then that sort of the way that you can get on that kind of a wave and just follow it. So I'm deeper than fashion now, just it's just naturally softened up and let me in. So I'm I would say I'm more into a muscle contact. No? And interesting here because we've got a lot of um, aponeurosis, lats, aponeurosis, erectus, quadratus, lumborum, And to be honest, this is how lots of my work with clients goes when you might start working with fascia and as that yields, before you know it, you're into the muscle. And there's nothing wrong with just letting one sort of approach flow into another. Feels kind of at the fascia level again here, mm -hmm. coming down for you as well, Emma. Yeah. 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 So I just feel like okay, let's slow it down again. Let's get back to a fascial kind of awareness, appreciation for that tissue of the body, and I'm just giving myself a check. Where does my back want to be, where do my shoulders want to be, where do my legs want to be, where am I holding effort that I don't need. I want to be really communicating a message of um, releasing, allowing, just being. I really don't want to be bringing any tension or force or expectation to the experience here. Starting to get a bit of a move. I think the Fascia just kind of yielding a little bit there, yeah. Following it. So following the idea, the shape of the pelvis, the crest, the top of the glute medius there, coming around the side, I've got to just move myself around, maybe even just move Emma's arm out of the way so I can drop down. So from here, lots of options. Tempted to take it down through into the rest of the glutes. Also tempted to stay more with the QL. Um, decisions, decisions. So let's just stop there and see what we decide. <laughs> right, stop.